So, you know, taking a look, um, let me think, I had a question that I wanted to have here. Now, you have some ties to Detroit Red Wing alumni. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your family member and kind of how you're associated with the uh, some of the great players in Red Wing lore. Well, I'm the secretary. I've been the secretary since 2006 for the alumni. So basically, I put together all the games and work with the with our charitable partners, and then I have to provide a lineup and get the roster. And, and you know, it's just a it's it's a not a full time job, but it's a, it's a passion of. Um, of hard work and and being I'm honored to be with these guys. Um, it it kind of stemmed back many moons ago when my grandfather played for the Red Wings back in the 30s and was on the first two Stanley Cup teams in 36, 37. So when I got asked to be part of the alumni, it was a total fluke. They needed a goalie. Goalies are always in high demand, and uh, um, we're not real stable people, as as the as the uh, rumor goes. But, <laughs> Anyways, so, you know, who wants to stand in front of an 80-mile-an-hour slap shot? Well, me. And uh, I happen to be the target for the last 15 years, sharing the sharing the duties with Eddie Mio, who's a former Red Wing. And, um, but, yeah, to be with, with the greats, it's it's unbelievable. The, the, um, just to be part of that family, uh, to be blood um, family, uh, is, is extra special. Um, but the way, you know, hockey guys are great guys. And I think anybody that watches this will, will agree that, it's hard to meet a, 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 a bad hockey player. I mean, there's some mean guys. There's some tough guys. But like Joey Koser, our president, he's he's one of the toughest guys that ever played. He was an assassin. You ask the other players, what was it like to be in a fight with Joe? They're like, well, it could be your last game ever. You know, Proby was <laughs> Pro, Proby was a battler. You know, he was a true heavyweight, and he he fought he fought for three four minutes. Right, Joey, the next punch could be the end of your career. So he, uh, he had a workout routine that was second to none, and I won't get into that, but, uh, uh, but you get him off the ice, an absolute teddy bear. I mean, he, he is absolutely no controversy, does not want to show you how tough he is, or because everybody knows how tough he was. Yeah. And he, he just doesn't want to engage in that. He's a super teddy bear, and you go through all the hockey players that I've ever met, tough guys on the ice, but they're doing a job. Like the whole McCarty-Lemieux thing. You know, I hate to say it, but Claude Lemieux is probably one of the nicer guys you'll ever meet. And he does a lot of charitable work, and, you know, he signs a book and or signs autographs, you know, with DMAC, and he gives back to his charity back home. He, he doesn't take the money. Yeah. So uh, through and through, the hockey guys are great, and I'm – I'm so blessed to be with him. Yeah, I I was lucky to have two seasons doing play-by-play, -play and you were one of the commentators, Eddie, Darren, and uh, we had even a few other guys come in there. And I wish I was still involved, but that's a whole other story for another day. Uh, now those guys, so that uh, you know, the, the Detroit um, Red Wing alumni, they still come here with their golf outing most years, and I think the Red Wings actually come up here as well. And that must be awesome for you to be able to have the, host those guys. Yeah, again, um, you know, they um, it, it's a scratch your back, right? They get to come out here and play. They bring guests. Um, they showcase the place for to their business partners or whatever. So it, it gets us out, and for that, we get back to them. And and the people love seeing them around. Um, you, you know, they, they treat it like it's it's their home, but they don't act like it's their home. You know, they're very appreciative and, and oh, God, and... Um, but they love coming out here. You know, it's kind of, it's a getaway, right? You feel like you're up north here, and they just kind of get away from. It's only 25 minutes away from the rat race, right? But right, but, right. Uh, but they get up here, and I mean, look, it's like being in uh, up at Boyne, you know, in northern Michigan. It's um, so yeah, we're we're honored to have them, and and the members treat them with uh, with respect and open arms. Well, that uh, concludes uh, part one of our interview. We're going to do a second part coming up a little bit later on in the show. George Bowman, PGA professional at Oakhurst Country Club. Tell you what, uh, it's one of the nicest places you can play golf. A tremendous test of golf when you come on up here. George and his staff will treat you incredible if you're lucky enough to come on out and play this place. So uh, anyway, George, we're going to come up with you later in the show.